What's going on guys? Welcome to another Ogano Talk segment and also welcome to the family. If you if you like the content, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, etc. So today I want to be talking about the you're just gifted excuse that a lot of people say to that limits them from, you know, expanding or getting better. So I've been hearing this you're just gifted excuse my entire life, even even in my like beginner days in which people would say, oh, he, he's just gifted. You, you won't achieve that way like you, you won't achieve the way he, he's doing, you know, and little do the people who who do say this know is that that person practiced to get to where he is granted he or she is. But granted, uh, there are some people, you know, that have, you know, you couldn't say we're gifted. Like, we can say, like, the Berserk creator, you know, Kentaro. Um, like, the manga that he created when he was 10, which was, like, highly detailed. Sure, you can say something like that. But even even he, even he, like, he he improved. His, his style became a lot more refined he, like he he's a lot better now than he was when he was 10 even though the 10 year old drawing that he did was pretty awesome but he he refined all that he's still improving you know so and another thing i want to say is that the people that say like so and so is just gifted or i'll never like get to that level as to where he or she is they you know, as I said before, they like completely li limit themselves. They're shutting themselves down. They place these uh, these people on some kind of pedestal, like this unreachable pedestal, as if they can't reach that level, that same level as well. You know, and it could get like one of those, you know, worshiping. I'm not worthy of that skill type of deal. You know, since they like place them on like a you know, a godlike pedestal as if they can't reach that level as well, you know, if you, if the person just took the time to look at, you know, the history of how that person wasn't, you know, yeah, as to how that person got to where he is, you know, like most people don't look at the, uh, most people don't look at the journey that the individual has gone through. Instead, they look at the, like the end process you know like for example i can show you like some of the uh you know the cool stuff stuff that i that i've made i'm still improving but i can show you some of the um the pages that i made etc but at the same time you don't know the uh you know the uh the practice that i've gone through the, like the journey so to say you know so, like, I've had my, you know, failure moments. I've had my, you know, depressing moments, you know, all, all, all these types of things that made me get to where I am right now at my skill level, you know. And it was with, like, with these moments, I improved myself in the, whatever skill or endeavor I wanted to do. I also, like, improved, like, some of my, you know, my own philosophies that I've learned in art, which I do share on my, uh, on this channel, you know, Ogano Talk Series, you know, giving advice, etc. You know, you know, it may be, you know, out there advice, but, you know, it's advice. So... We, we can let's go back to the uh, the the gifted thing, you know, um, now people like place them on a on a, on a pedal stool. Now, I'm going to use this again, the a, a video game analogy like, OK, so we have um, a gifted person who's like super good at art. Right. He he made this really detailed comic or so, like when he was like at the age of five or so. Right. So. Let's just take for example that 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 child is starting at level fifty. Okay, that's basically what's going on. He does he doesn't have to go from level one or level two. He's basically just starting at level fifty, you know, and he's just expanding from level fifty to upward, you know. And let's just take you know normal normal people to just ca your casual everyday guy, average Joe. You know, like a, you know, a newbie at the, at the craft, you know, 
and he's starting at level 1. That does not make him incapable of achieving level 50. You know, he just needs to, you know, keep gaining the experience to get to level 50. You know, and beyond, you know. There are some, and I know plenty of, um, I don't know them personally, but I've seen YouTube videos. But I know plenty of uh, certain, uh, you know, gifted people that... I can say, you know, started at level 50 in their craft, like some musicians, but they never, like, you know, took the time to, like, actually expand, you know, go beyond level 50. While as the, while for the newbie, or the, yeah, the newbie who's starting at level 1, you know, he's going to, he's going to eventually reach level 50, and then he's going to go even beyond level 50, where the gifted person was at. You know, so it doesn't really matter so much about if you're gifted or not. It's just rather you want to, you know, rather you want to practice, you know, and have fun with whatever you're doing. Now, like what I see in a lot of, uh, you know, let's say newbies is that like they would. um OK, the newbies, you know, they're starting at level one. They would look at somebody who has already who has already achieved level 50 or so, you know, and now that they would just place them on a pedestal and do all that worship and oh my God, he's just so good and all that. But at the same time, they're, they're like, uh, they kind of limit themselves because they sometimes feel that they can't achieve that, that type of, uh, that type of level, but you can achieve that type of level. You just have to, you know, practice, you know, gain some experience to get to level 50, you know, and perhaps you could even go beyond the person that you admire so much. You know, so it, it's just it's just practice, you know, the uh, and, and try not to like place, you know, certain people on a pedestal. You just just know their back. Just know know their backstory. They're just like you pretty much, you know, but yeah, they're, they're just like you, you know, they're just like you pretty much. They, they may be the, the gifted or so maybe starting at level 50, but I'm sure they, they shit and breathe just like us. You know, they're still playing the same game. You know, they're still playing the exact same game game as you and me and anybody else. They're still playing the game. They're just starting off at a higher level, you know, but you can also at level one achieve that level 50 and, and you know, go beyond. So, and honestly, I see it as there's like, there are perks and there are pros and your cons to, you know, being a newbie and being gifted, you know, like, for example, let's just say you're, you're newbie, you're just starting out, you're not gifted so and so you know as as opposed to like the person who's you know so and so gifted who had who was starting at level 50 right like they may do that they may be doing this intuitively and may not know how to teach it you know what i'm saying so you you starting at level one you know you may be able to teach level one all the way to level 49 because you have that experience of you know growth you know, I mean, granted, there are some people that, you know, give the people that can't teach it. But I'm just, you know, I'm just saying, you know, but but like, I feel that it would be a, a lot. It will be much more of a authentic type of teaching if, you know, you weren't, you know, if you were on level one to begin with, you know. So, you know, there there are your there are your perks and your cons to this, you know. And so I feel a lot of the things that keep an artist or so from improving is are just like the mental blockages that he or she has, you know. And like sometimes you hear people say I took like five years to improve or so, but it's really like really all you where you want to settle because, you know, five years. I mean, with art, you can like constantly keep improving until your death until you die, you know, so until death. So. You know, like like until you grow old, you, you can constantly keep improving. You constantly get more experience. So, like when you say, "Oh, I, I, it took five years," blah blah. Like you set like this this end game, this end goal that you can't, you, like you're already a master. You can't like improve even further. I th I think at the end of the day, like we're all masters, and at the same time, still teachers. Wait, yeah, masters and students. I meant to say. We're all masters and students in in our own sense, you know. And you can keep, constantly keep 
keep evolving. Like, there's no end game, and yeah, you know, that pretty much all I have to say about this topic. And I'm I'm gonna be doing more of these Ogana talks videos since I'm starting up. Uh, since I'm starting up school, and uh, I may not have time to do some tutorials, or I made. I, I don't know. I, we'll, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see what happens. But um, yeah, th this is going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this session. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. La, la, la.